between flaming medieval goblets, magical illuminations, and countless Christmas markets selling everything from piping hot food to unique gifts. Munich has something for everyone during the festive season. After all, three million annual visitors can't be wrong. Welcome to Munich. I'm Sophie, Antoine is behind the camera. If this is your first time on our channel, do be sure to check out our other videos as we're currently on a Christmas market odyssey to show you the best of Europe this winter. Munich is home to one of the greatest football clubs in the world, Bayern Munich. It's also home to the largest beer festival in the world, which is Oktoberfest. Today, we're in Munich to show you the best of the city this Christmas time. We've just arrived at the Easter Tour, which is all that remains of a medieval city gate here in Munich. We're at a small Christmas market which is centered around a Feuer Zangenbola, which translates as Fire Tongs Punch. We're next to the central fire bowl where they have steaming hot mulled wine with rum infusions. So it's very alcoholic, but very tasty. We've ended up getting one to share because I read it was quite strong and we haven't eaten yet. Uh, so let's have a go. <laughs> it's really nice, but very strong. We're now on our way to a market that I'm very excited to visit because it's actually a themed market and it's medieval themed. This is the front of the medieval market and as Anton pointed out, it's funny because you have a medieval vibe with all of these themed chalets, but then just in front it's super modern with loads of scooters parked up on the sidewalk and I'm pretty sure that's not really medieval. We've just arrived at the medieval themed market and there's just such an attention to detail here. There's even this gargoyle up here with water spouting out of it because it's raining and so it actually works. Even some of the staff are dressed up like medieval yeah. times. We love this market so much that we ended up visiting twice, both during the day and at night. After all, who can say no to drinking wine out of clay goblet? And while we're on the subject of goblets, it's worth noting that this is the Christmas market where you can get the flaming hot cup. This is essentially a glue vine served with a piece of flaming sugar, which you can opt to put into the drink or leave on the outside. The deposit for these glasses is rather steep at 10 euro, but if you want your money back at the end and don't want to keep the cup, you can just return it at the counter. This is the Christmas market that we visited in Munich that probably had the greatest selection of food as well as the greatest quality. Everything was organic and there were so many vegan and vegetarian options available. I particularly loved this specially marked vegetarian Spätzle, which is essentially a German macaroni cheese. There's one specially erected ice skating rink that's installed for the season. This is 750 square meters and is surrounded by a bar where you can get a drink and watch the ice skaters. Alternatively, you can rent the skates for yourself and the timing is pretty generous as you get a few hours per slot. Victualian Marks is Munich's main market square and around 140 vendors sell everything from fresh flowers to local specialities and fresh produce. At Christmas, a number of chalets and bars are installed in the area. We're currently in Marienplatz, which is where the main Christmas market here in Munich takes place. Marienplatz is yet another Christmas market that you should make sure to check out both during the daytime and at night. While the day has fewer crowds, meaning that it's easier to grab a snack, at night the square is beautifully illuminated. This is the oldest Christmas market in Munich and the history of the market dates back many centuries. Indeed, the first mention of this particular spot comes in the form of St. Nicholas Market in 1642. During the Enlightenment, the Nikolai Markt was transformed into the Chris Kindle Markt, which we know today. We're in a building in Marienplatz and I can't believe there's no one else around. It's like Hogwarts. While you're in the area, there's one hidden gem that you have to check out and that's the Law Library. This spot is open for just 10 minutes a day and I'll put some more details on how to access it below. The reason that the space is only open to the public for a short time each day is it is actually a working library. The library is dedicated to lawyers or students studying law and is filled with books about government acts, citizen rights and the like. 
If you're a fan of small Christmas markets, then I highly recommend heading into the square, which is right next to the Law Library entrance. And this square is home to more local vibe with Stan selling local produce and some rather unusual decorations, such as this rock nativity garden. We've just arrived at Rindermarkt and there's two things of particular interest here. The first is right behind me and that's a giant Christmas pyramid. Now these are known as Weimax Pyramide in German. They date all the way back to the Middle Ages and are thought to be precursors of Christmas trees. The other thing that's here at this Christmas market are boot shaped Glühwein mugs. We've acquired our boot mug. It's actually got Kirschwein in it which is a kind of cherry wine and we had a shot of Amaretto added. Oh my gosh with the Amaretto it's so sweet but very nice. It's perfect for dessert. The main shopping streets are all pedestrianised and they're full of Christmas chalets so you're never too far away from a glue vine or a snack. We've just arrived at San Ligator, which is a former city gate. Here in November and December there's a small Christmas market, it's more of a local vibe here with just a few chalets selling gifts and glue vine. We've just found our first vegan breakfast, but they do cook it with all the other sausages at the same time, so... It's nice to find a vegan option, but I don't think I would buy it again. It's a bit dry. Nestled within the LGBT plus district of Munich, the pink Christmas market is the LGBT market. Though, of course, allies are also welcome to visit. Everything is pink, sparkly, and there's even disco balls at night, bathing everything in a glittery glow. There are a number of vegan food options here. And while this is a smaller market compared to some of the others, it's definitely worth checking out. We're now headed to Tolbert, which is where the Oktoberfest is normally held. However, during this time of the year, there is a Christmas market here, but we've heard that it's not really like any other Christmas market in Europe, and so I'm excited to check it out. This place is so cool, and there's lights and installations everywhere, and I can't wait to go and see everything. Tollwood is the most international of the Christmas markets in Munich, and even has an entire tent dedicated to vegan and vegetarian food. It's probably one of the best places to check out when it rains, as a number of the stalls selling both gifts and snacks are located in huge tents, which provide excellent shelter from bad weather. Outside, there's loads of beautiful installations, live music, regular performances, and more. All in all, this is one Christmas market you will want to check out, even if it's a bit further away from the center. This Christmas market is so regal that it's actually referred to as a Christmas village. Set against the backdrop of the beautiful Residence Palace, the former palace of the Wittelsbachs Monarchs of Bavaria, this market is home to all kinds of food and gift stands. This market is more beautiful during the evening, but obviously is more busy during this time. The bins are gingerbread themed. I have to admit that I definitely wasn't as excited by the food options here as the medieval market, which is just a five minute walk away, but we did opt to get some chili fries with some jalapenos. The Residence Palace Christmas Market is also home to these strange animatronics that speak a lot, but all I could understand was Kinder Punch, which is the kids' juice. The last market I'd like to draw your attention to is in the English Gardens, an area of the city which is most associated with surfers and beautiful landscaping. The name of this market is literally translated as Chinese Tower Market and it has a super local vibe with a live band playing and plenty of snacks for purchase. We also really enjoyed watching everyone play curling even if I'm still not quite sure what the rules are. Of course, you 
can't come to Munich without trying its world famous beer. We're in Hof Brauhaus, which dates all the way back to the 16th century. I ordered the large beer and I didn't visualize it in my head. I think it's because I'm used to British sizes. But look at this. <laughs> I need two hands to hold it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more travel movies. See you next time. Bye.